Oh, right. Cool. Perfect. So, okay. So, if you go on YouTube and you type in Gabby Petito, she made one YouTube video. So, there's a YouTube video actually that she made. I don't know if it will actually show. But I'm going to give you the real quick version of this channel. Oh, yeah. Her channel's called Nomadic Static, right? She wanted to be a YouTuber or like an online influencer. She used to be a nutritionist. She left her job. She fucking goes across country with her fiance. They get this van that you see right here. And she put up one video. And the video right now almost has a 4 million views. Anyway, I'll click into the video. This is how it looks. It's edited pretty well. It is actually showing a lot of perfection. It looked like this happiness. They're having a good time. Doing fun stuff. Running on the beach. Ten o'clock in the morning. Uh, They're camping in a tent. <laughs> That's her and her fiance Can't here. In Utah. And that's that's like the van, right? So, to make a long story short, they go on this road trip. They're supposed to be like you know, kind of living on the road, and essentially what happened is they never uh the dude comes back the girl doesn't come back now immediately when he comes back because the parents of the girl had filed a missing persons like report the cops was trying to talk to him like yo what happened to the girl that you went on vacation with you're probably the last person to see her he immediately lawyers up and he, he evokes the fifth amendment which means Yo, I don't want to say none to y'all niggas because it could incriminate me. Now, at that point, they didn't even know if the girl was dead. Like, they was just like, yo, well, where's she at type shit, right? Like, she's missing. Now, eventually, and even now, they found her dead. But afterwards, he doesn't talk to the cops. They're like, damn, what happened to this girl? They're trying to look for her. And then I think they almost try to go back and, and like, you know, try to check his temperature. But then he leaves, like he runs away. You know what I mean? So like his family now is like the spokesperson for him. Um, but he supposedly left like a week ago or something like that after he already didn't want to co communicate with the cops. Now, the big question is what happened while they were on a trip. If you watch this video that she uploaded on YouTube, everything looks great, everything looks dandy, everything looks so amazing and fine. And then there's a... Um, Body cam footage. Body cam. So there's body cam footage of a... Of a... The cops pulling them over. And it said this was on... I forgot what date it's on. Oh, it should be right here. This is on the 12th of August. Now, again, I want to speed through this. So... The cop pulls them over. Turn it off for me. And as he walks to the car, because apparently the car was swerving and almost hit some shit, so he pulled the car over. While he walks to the car, she's in tears. You want to place your vehicle in the park and go ahead and turn it off for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, park? Oh, it, it isn't parked yet. Okay, turn off your engine. Go ahead and set your keys on the dash for me, all right? What's your guys' names? Gabby. I'm Brian. Gabby, Brian, okay. What's going on? How come you're crying? I'm just crying. We've just been fighting this morning. So she's crying, right? I'm making this really short and simple for y'all. Anyway, he takes her out the car. She starts explaining what's going on. I guess my vibe is like I'm really here and I'm like in a bad mood. 
I was just saying, I'm sorry if I'm in a bad mood. I just really stressed. I had so much work I was doing on my computer this morning. What do you do for a living? Um, well, I, I hate to forget an organic juice bar, but I just quit my job. Okay. I was a nutritionist. That's, oh, what, okay. that's my that's job. Cool. And I just um, quit my job to travel across the country. And I'm trying to start a blog. And okay. I just have a blog. So, so I've been building my website. So I've just been really stressed. And he doesn't really believe that I could do any of it. So that's kind of been like a... I don't know. He's like... In, I don't know. know. We've just been fighting. Okay. So basically, she started crying, blah, blah, blah. Anyway... They go talk to the dude, and they see that the dude got scratches on him. And basically, the dude admits that, yo, the reason why I was swerving and shit like that, like, she was beating me up while I was driving. So let me show right here. Scratches on your face? She had a cell phone in her hand. That's why I was pushing her away. Because I, she, she wanted to, I locked the keys so I could walk away. I, I said, let's just take a breather, and let's not, you know, go anywhere. Let's just calm down for a minute because she's getting all worked up. And then she had her phone was trying to get the keys to so I got in the way. I was just trying to, I know I shouldn't push, but I was just trying to push her away to go, let's, let's just take a minute, step back and breathe. And we see if she got me with her phone. Can I see your hand? Oh, you got a mark right here. Oh, that's from a wire. That's from a wire? Yeah. You want to tell me about hitting that curve? Hitting the curve was her grabbing the wheel. She grabbed the wheel? Yeah. She said, I can't believe we're getting pulled over, and then she did it. So essentially, he basically says she was beating my ass, um, and also the reason why you think I was like swerving, like she fucking grabbed the wheel, right? Now, in any state, that's like domestic violence, instantly, right? And she didn't say anything about him hitting her. He did admit that he pushed her, which usually means like you know, cops usually, even if you defend yourself as a dude, if you do anything back violent. She could be beating your ass. If you push her off you, that's also considered violence on your part. They're going to lock both y'all up, right? And, um... What about the speed? Did she take over the... And, and, and essentially, they have to make a decision what they're going to do, right? So the, the speeding ticket or, or, like, you know, reckless driving turned into freshly finding out that these two were fighting in the car. Then I'm going to show you the most white privilege shit you've ever seen in life. So if you black and this happens, y'all both going to jail. Or at least the female's going to jail because the dude has scratches on him. Like visible scratches, bruises. She has nothing. Somebody's going to jail. Instead, it was the craziest shit I've ever seen. The cop who seems like, I think he wants to fuck her. I'm sorry. I'm so, like I know she passed away. I, I really want to be, be kind of careful, but still, he clearly wants to fuck her or some shit. This motherfucker, right? He says, I should charge you with domestic violence, which is a misdemeanor, but I'm actually not going to do it. I'm just going to recommend that y'all just leave each other alone. When the fuck have y'all ever seen a cop say that? Yeah, I should charge you with... Actually, most states, if they don't charge you with, misdem uh, with domestic violence, they get they get fired. But listen to this shit. Listen to this. It was town just something like you guys capable help with I want you guys to say this is I understand that this can feel like it's a nightmare, but you're coming out as the gold here so you're twenty two, right? So I'm choosing not to cite you today. Look. This is so. This is what I'm gonna do. Wait, wait. He's gonna say what she should be getting. I've never seen a cop say that. Ryan, what is the call number? Mr. Boston, thank you guys for helping us. Oh yeah, no problem. Have a good day. Oh, uh, my phone number. Cool. Move on to the next chick. All right. What's going to happen in a second? This is straight white privilege. Oh, yeah. If the boyfriend was... Ooh. Listen, listen, listen to this. I've never seen this shit before. I've never seen this shit before. All right. By the way, 
you know when the term Karen comes up? This is why Karen is the... And by, no, by the way, if the chick was black, she's arrested. So she pretty much admits she was beating his ass. He got bruises. Any, if, if, if these people are people of color, you're going to jail. Listen to what this cop says to her. And this is why the word Karen is a thing. Because you know what a Karen is? It's usually a white chick, but a Karen could be anybody, right? It's where the person who was the aggressor now turns into a victim and looks for the cops to help her either either discriminate, bully, or do something to somebody else by now claiming victim when they started the issue in the first place. Listen to this. There we are. Can I get your phone number? Do you have any problems with me taking a picture of it? I have to have IDs and stuff like that for my investigation. Oh. Here. So, this is what I'm going to do. Listen. I've decided I am not going to cite you for domestic violence battery, okay? It was only going to be a mm -hmm. Class B misdemeanor. However, the domestic violence portion of it enhances it makes like a major pain in the butt, especially at your 22, right? So I'm choosing not to cite you today. So the more he talks, the more she cries. She's, she's, I'm, again, I'm not, I don't want to say she's playing victim, but like, listen. You are not going to be charged with it. All right, but this is what I do have to do. No. I am separating the two of you tonight, okay? So she's telling, he's telling her, I'm not going to lock you up. So, what's the alternative of locking her up? You're never going to believe it. He's going to kick the guy out the car. Give her the car. Listen to this. It's, it's just ridiculous. I want you guys both. And by the way, my stance on this is if the cops did their job and, and, and treated like it was a black person or somebody else, one of these people would have been arrested, if not both of them. If one of them are... What, if one of them were arrested, I don't believe somebody dies. To be tonight away from each other, relax, breathe, because there's no reason to be crying now, okay? This is, I understand that this can feel like it's a nightmare, but you're coming out as the golden flower on top of it, okay? So, I think it's been game. the band tonight. And you're going to go somewhere else. I am going to get him lined up for the hotel room tonight. I want you guys to stay away from each other. For both of you guys the same. From what you told me and what he told me, you guys have a bunch of little things that are building up, building up, building up. And finally, the little string that you guys were tight walking on the road tonight. Does that sound about right? So, I just want everybody to breathe, get a chance away from each other. Go eat a meal. Yo, you ever heard a cop talk like this? I just want everybody to breathe. Nigga, usually you're hearing after the cop got his fucking foot or knee on your neck, you're telling him you can't breathe. <gasps> I can't, you're telling him that like, yo, nigga, chill. The cop is saying, I just want everybody to chill out. Let's breathe. Let's, let's breathe. <sighs> let's breathe. Let's relax. What the fuck? Well, talk to your parents, whatever it is you got to do. Come here. Yeah. They put her in the back of the cop car. They don't even close the door. Yo, if you black, you're in handcuffs and the door's closed. Facts. You're not hopping. They're not leaving the door open like that. You can just get out and run whenever you want to. No. You're in handcuffs and you're in the back of that bitch with the door locked. Oh, he's bad about that, too. Okay, I'll make sure that he has a phone charger. Okay? Yo, the this is another thing. The cop knew she was about to link with the nigga because she was telling the cop, like, I know you're going to separate him, but yo, could you make sure he has a phone? Like, why the fuck you care if he got a phone?
She finna call that nigga. Duh. So if you ask me what happened, they linked up after this shit. And some shit probably went left again. And that nigga clapped her. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate your time. Place where you can shower, decompress, de stress a little bit. Alrighty? Um, yeah, I just showered yesterday at one of those. Well, you didn't have today happen yesterday. It's basically from here to Moonflower. Okay. Okay? It's not far at all. So, the van. So, the cops say they gotta separate, basically, trying to get them to not be around each other. Remember, he didn't charge, him, charge nobody with domestic violence. Now, this chick is basically starting to cry more and ask her where the nigga is going to be at. Look. All righty. So, here's that. I'm giving him a ride over to the hotel. Listen, listen. Okay. So, everything's going to be okay. Will it be a far drive for me to get him in the morning? Will it be a far drive for me to get him in the morning? The point of this is you're not supposed to be linking with you. I might as well just let them drive away together right now. Then she basically telling you, is it? Are you bringing them to a hotel that's mad far from me to like go pick that nigga up? Yo, the cop is retarded. Why the fuck is you separating them right now, nigga? He's act. She actually said to the cop. The cop at first says, "I'm not gonna tell you where he's gonna be at." But the more she cries, the cop is, he kind of like either simp or he, he'd be like, all right. So, so she, she's like, is it going to be a far drive for me to pick him up in the morning? You know what she's supposed to say? Yo, I gave you a break to not get arrested. Don't link up with that guy. Stay away from him. Go home. That's what you're supposed to say. I'm, I'm just curious. I'm not going to tell you where he's going to be at I, tonight. I like I said, I I want you guys to be separated. I, but I, I can just, tell you this. I just don't usually drive the van, so I just want to make sure it's not, like, far. No, 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 no. It's... I ain't going to tell you where. Well, I usually don't drive the van. I just want to make sure it's not far. Nah, it ain't far. It ain't far. What? Nigga, didn't you say you're didn't you, nigga, didn't you say you're not finna tell her? Uh, okay, it's basically from here to Moonflower. Okay. Okay. This thing is just told her the fuck. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Nigga, you just said you wasn't telling her. Nigga. What? Nigga. Nigga. Yo, I ain't gonna tell you what's going on right now. I ain't gonna tell you where I'm bringing this nigga. Oh, you crying? How far? Now, nah, he gonna be down the street. Like, down the street to the left, but chill. I ain't telling you where. He... What the fuck? It's not far at all. So, let's get you in the van. Let's get you on your way, all right? You want that Gatorade, by the way? Okay. This nigga is simp. I think he was trying to kick game. He got to get fired. This bitch ass nigga was kicking game on the low. Dirty Mackin. He saw her like, I think this nigga, he was doing some weird shit. Why the fuck you talking to her like this, doggy? You want that Gatorade? You're going to be fine. Just go, you know, take a shower. This and th Just... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna arrest you just like you know just just, just breathe. What? You got enough water? I have enough water? <laughs> this cop care about everything except the fact that the nigga who potentially might be in trouble who just got kicked out of his own van and she's driving his van. This nigga might be low-key mad, and the next time he see her, he might clap her. The cops forget all about that. Like, they're, they're cracking too many jokes. <laughs> also, something I want you to know. Here, stand over here real, real fast for me. 
if you go over to City Market, they have a list of places where you can get yourself a shower for like four or five bucks. Like oh, that. fuck no. This cop might as well say, Yo, you know, you can come over to my crib and get a shower, right? Like, I, I know you probably ain't showering them in. Like, you just come, on, come on to my crib. I got hot water, everything. I got, a little, I, got a little, I got the bath bombs and everything. Just come over to my crib. Get a shower, girl. The fuck is this cop doing? I'm going to show you how slimy niggas are, too. You see how he kicking game? Wait till his female partner pull up. Watch how he try to play it off. Watch this. Pretty cheap. Place where you can shower, decompress. Look, you see the female cop right here? Female cop right here, right? Decompress. Bruh, stop it. Decompress. You trying to fuck. Stop it. Look, the female cop's about to pull up. Watch what he says when the female cop pulls up to act like it's cool. Watch. Stress a little bit. All righty. Um, yeah, I just showered yesterday at one of those. Well, you didn't have today happen yesterday, so yeah, but, I mean, I, it does my wife but, wonders so when she gets stressed out. It's like my now you're talking about your wife, nigga. You was giggling, teeth shining. I ain't finna charge you, girl. You about to get on scotch free? The female cop walks over on my wife, huh? huh? The partner on the wife, he knew, she knew he was up to some scummy shit. You fucking bastard. Chat, we caught him in 4K. You got caught by your body cam footage, nigga. He's kicking game the whole time. He know his partner. Definitely gonna snitch on him. <laughs> so you know what he did? My wife, I've listened to this whole fucking footage for an hour. That nigga never mentioned his wife. The female cop walks over. Nigga, he took a, he even asked, can I take a picture of, of this? He making sure he got all the details about her that he, he could link with her type shit. It's, you feel me? Until the female cop probably walked over like, nigga, bro, okay, we're done with this. We're done with the stop. Like, why, why are we still doing this? He he gonna throw in the my wife shit. Niggas is slimy, bro. Get in the shower. Come on. Let's get in the shower. Really go take a shower, relax. Take some time to yourself. And like I said, don't text each other tonight. Text each other tomorrow morning after your eyes open up and you're fully awake. Have your coffee or your morning routine, okay? Text each other in the morning. The black people. Wouldn't we be so fortunate if you were given the opportunity? To, nah, just don't talk to us tonight. Usually when usually when niggas are in a situation with a girl, that's what you want to just be left alone. And the cop is saying they're not gonna hold your ass to jail. They're just gonna say, "Oh no, we are gonna make sure you get left alone." What? Niggas is fist bumping with the fucking cops. <laughs> yo, yo, hey, 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 if, if I look like I'm in disbelief, man, I, I'll never see a nigga fist bump with a cop ever in my life. Yo, <laughs> yo. yo, see you later, bud. I've never seen this shit. This nigga talking about anime with the cops, bro. This nigga talking about Naruto, dog. This thing is talking about Naruto. Could you believe this shit? Fucking niggas talking about Naruto with the cops, dog. And then he gave the nigga a fist bump. And he just kept it moving. You know, the whole time he thinking about, I'm going to clap that hoe. Real talk. Real talk. You know, you got to be honest about this shit, though. Ready for a ride? Ready for a ride? sound like he's at Six Flags. He don't even seem like he's in trouble. <laughs> that nigga sound like he's in Six Flags. Ready for a ride? Boy, look like he showed up to Fright Fest or some shit, man. 
He don't seem like there's a lick of danger. <laughs> Yo, if a cop told me ready for the ride, I'm like, please call my lawyer. This nigga sound like he couldn't wait <laughs> to ride shotgun with the cop. <laughs> nigga fist bump, bro. Uh, my door's open. Just climb in the back seat for me. Yeah, you can put your backpack back there, too. The cop just said, yo, my door's open. Just go in. Just, just walk in. Just climb in there like you cool. Wait, they're not going to grab his head and push it down and shove his ass in there? What? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Oh, this thing was simping. He ain't even know these cops. That's why every time when he was around them, his conversation changed drastically. If he said, I got to formally introduce myself, he ain't know these cops like that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't tell you that I'm taking you to the jail. No, I told you I'm taking you to the hotel. So. No fucking way. They're cracking jokes like a Dave Chappelle fucking comedy special. Talking about, nigga, of course I'm not taking you to jail. I'm taking you to a hotel. Didn't already know. Um, she did want to pass on her good nights and loves yous and stuff like that, okay? And she understands that I don't... I didn't tell her where you're staying because, like I said, I'm trying to keep you guys away from each other for tonight. Say that again? Where did you say I was going? The, I didn't. I just told you that you were going to a hotel. Okay. So, um, like I said, it's my request. Not legally obligated to hold to it. But I want you guys to take some time away from each other because it will make the world a difference. Oh, you're not in any trouble? You got handcuffs on? <laughs> I didn't tell you that I'm taking you to the jail. No, I told you I'm taking you to the hotel. So, like I said, my main concern, I told her to go take a shower like I told you to, because she seems a lot like my wife. And things that really works for my wife is when she gets stressed out to. That nigga want to fuck her. She seems like my wife. She seems like my side chick. What I told y'all, chat. Chat, I can read this shit from a mile away. Mile away. Truth be told, FBI, the cop was suspect too. If you ask me, I don't know who killed him. Somebody killed him. This nigga wanted some pussy. He showed it. That nigga looked like he was, yo, I don't say all white people, but that dude looked like he was, he was tight, but he was just like, oh, yeah. But really, he was tight that that chick was violating like that. Go take a long, hot shower. So I gave her a place to go where she can get a hotel room. Or not a hotel room, but... um. Why? This nigga keep thinking about hotels, yo. He's trying to fuck this nigga's girl at the hotel. Get a shower tonight for like four or five bucks. Really cheap. So... No problem. <laughs> well, I've got quite a few. Like I said, my wife has really, really bad, bad anxiety, and she takes medication for it daily. And sometimes it's just not enough. Sometimes it builds up and it, it happens. This bitch nigga basically admitting that's his type. I mean. Chat. I, five and a half years of marriage. I know it's not very long, but at the same time, you learn a lot in the first five years. Yeah. How long you guys been together? Uh, I, would, I would say well, we've known each other since the start of high school. Chat. There's something not right about this conversation right here. 
he seems too concerned with their relationship and he keeps trying to parallel it to his. There's something not right about it. There's something not right about it. There's something not right about it. Somebody says the cop, the cop got what tattoos? Yeah, this might be some cuck shit. Who knows? Got Southsuke tattoos? Hmm. Wait, this is a tattoo right here? What is this? Yo, chat. I'm t Yo, chat. Y'all want, y'all want to bet? Yo, we have four streams like this. We solved the whole fucking case. We might even find that bitch nigga, cause the nigga dipped. He like one who ran. Even though I think he might have killed himself, but if he didn't kill himself, we might be able to find that nigga before the cops, man. Be like, yo, bro, come on, get, get up from under that rock, bro. Come on, dog. Yo, come on, man. Come on, we found Gabby's body, bro. You gotta either start talking, or you go to jail, bro. Come on, man. Bro, come on, we not about to, yo, we not about to do that. Come on, dog. We see you there, though. Nigga, we see you, stupid. We see you. guy. Right, come on, man. Come on, you're going to jail. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, man. Might have to crack this fucking case. Come on, man. Come on, you're going to jail, man. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo, come on, you going to jail, man? <laughs> Y'all don't even know what Sasuke is. I don't watch anime. Last person who told me they love anime also told me they love hentai, and I was like, "What's that?" They said anime porn, and I was like, "I'm gonna check out this game." But I guess didn't they say Dragon Ball Z was a hentai? Oh, not hentai, but like uh, anime. Nigga, whatever, man. Fuck. Like that, but it's just, there's nothing out there for 120 miles, it seems like. Nah, there's something going on here. Anyway, chat, I, I, I do want to, this is the last thing I'm going to play. Yo, I just want to salute to, you know, all of our, I want to call affiliates, um, you know, we were once again brought up, it wasn't even flagrant, it was brilliant, and it's 